All right, people, we are here at the Motorama Show in Toronto, International Centre. Mm -hmm. And this isn't Peter. Mm -mm. This is uh, Ken Wagon, mm -hmm. surrogate PT for the day. Pete's still down in Arizona. Yeah, that bastard. Living the dream, getting a suntan. And we're going to do a quick tour through the show here. It's kind of like Canada's version of SEMA in a little bit. SEMA, yeah, a very small version of it, but There's hot quality. rods, there's a tuner car section, there's aftermarket performance parts, manufacturers with booths and stuff. But it's, it's more of a car show than a, a trade show, isn't it? Correct, yeah. So we're going to show you some of the cool cars here. Mm. We'll show you some of the products that we like. And uh, maybe we'll even show you the odd booth babe if there are any here. And meet some celebrities. I think I just saw Gene Winfield over there. Oh, cool, yeah. There's some other like Discovery TV guys here right. too. So yeah. Well, they're up. Yeah, maybe we'll see some cool people other than Ken, who's yeah. obviously very cool. So yeah. let's get this party started. First and foremost, Motorama is a hot rod show, and this gorgeous blue Model A dropped on the floor is just a perfect example of hot rodding at its finest. And as racers, this drag monster Z28 definitely caught our eye. I mean, just look at this thing. So angry. Ken was seriously smitten by this Yanko Super Camaro, one of just 104 ever built and was really the car that inspired the Copo Camaro in 69. For me, this was the car of the show, Brad Reuter's 1992 Mazda Miata. I know it's a hot rod show and this thing was in the main hall so it was definitely pissing off some of the old school guys, but just look at this thing. The build quality is second to none, the attention to detail is spectacular, the fit and finish is just perfect. I loved everything about this Miata. Oh, and did I mention it's got an LS3 under the hood? Mm-mm, good. One of the cool parts of Motorama is you can actually do some shopping here, including stuff like automobile memorabilia, these Bell racing helmets from our friends at CSC Racing. Hell, you can even buy dash cams if you're one of those paranoid Russian filmmakers. There were also some performance part manufacturers at the show, including Eibach Canada, who were, of course, showing off their full lineup of springs, as well as these all-terrain lift kits for the Jeep market, and this Multi-Pro R1 track-ready suspension kit for the new Ford Mustang. Autometer was also at the show with their full lineup of gauges on display. MSD had their power grid ignition on display, as well as this Air Force intake for the LT1 V8 that makes 35 wheel horsepower on the dyno. Bam! Continuing the Mustang theme, MBRP had this stainless exhaust and header combo on display for the S550. And I've got to say their demo car, that nice white 5 liter Mustang in the background, was sitting awfully pretty. This little beauty is Mark Gentile's EF drag car that I actually photographed for Honda Tuning Magazine a few years ago. There's the cover photo. There's the story there. The beauty of this thing is, man, B-series, turbocharged. What was his best quarter mile time? Like 9.3 or something? He's deep into the nines. And it's just a show quality car too. I mean, you don't see drag cars that look this mint. So good. Look at this thing. Pontiac GTO with the correct name. The Italian Stallion. Maurizio Campolucci. Pretty serious. And it only does a 736 in the quarter mile at 184. Damn. You're gonna have to edit that one out. Sorry guys, but I gotta steal this celebrity away. It's time to go and pick Riley's top five cars of Motorama. Yeah, let's do it. I need a bottle of water. Bottle of water. <laughs> As a guy who used to drift a truck, or maybe you still do on weekends? Sometimes, you still time. You still have it? Oh yeah, absolutely. Sweet. Well, here's an, another truck you could do a little drifting in. I Wanna take us for a tour? Yeah, this is it. Show us the highlights of this truck, Riley. I think the major highlight, other than the fact that it's a beautifully restored Ford Ranger. Yes, it is. Excellent example is 
this wild setup we got going on here. A uh, rear mounted turbo. Yeah, I guess it's it's actually really common with truck guys because you have lots of space and not always a lot of space in the engine bay. Yeah, it kind of makes sense. I've seen a Toyota, I think I saw another Chevy with this setup too. Apparently it works pretty good. Really? But it's uh, interesting. It's got the NOS bottle back there too. NOS. Uh, see what I'm That's see right. It. Tractor Supply Company. Yeah. And uh, bro, do you even track? I like this. I do too. I don't know what's in it. Like two, three liter, four liter, two, three. Yeah, I don't know what's under the hood. And as you can see, it's got the full sticker bombed interior. Yeah, it uh, definitely has a good collection. The, uh, the bad news is, though, it's an automatic. <laughs> Still, pretty cool. We'll give them uh, high marks for creativity or yes, what? Uh, a plus for creativity. A plus for creativity, all right. <laughs> All right, Riley, I know you got a uh, soft spot for Miatas. Not I sure what that them. says about your sexuality, but uh, we'll discuss it's, it's that later. It's questionable at best. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> the name like Sex Myth, you got to keep an open mind. Absolutely. And uh, this little butte caught my eye. What do you think of it? It is probably the cleanest functional, you know, Miata that I've seen done like this, especially in NB. The paint is immaculate. Yeah, I believe my buddy Cavill at Make It Shine actually polished this one and uh, sealed it up with that fancy C quartz. Yeah, uh, you can see the pearl in the light there. It's, yeah. This thing was really popping in some way. Beautiful. So. And obviously it's all about the yeah, LS3 swap. under the hood. No replacement for displacement, I guess. That's. The, I'm amazed at how well it fits and like looking at it, I didn't say four men on the golf course. You might think it's almost <laughs> like a factory V8 Miata. It's, it's really well done. Not overdone, it's not too showy. Yeah. But it just looks like a stock. Like the car came like this from the factory. You can imagine it is a lot of fun. You think a it's a drift worthy or what? Yeah. Well, I imagine you could get the tail out a little bit. 400 horsepower or so <laughs> would do the job? Yeah, I think six liters of displacement is enough to maybe get it to step out of touch. That is just a super clean swap though, wow. All right, Riley, we found us a first-gen Celica. Yes, we did. We all know I have a little soft spot for these. I can see why. It's a, I love, I've always loved these cars. They're such a, it's like a mini muscle car. They look so pretty. They still have that kind of boxy, aggressive 70s style. But, and this one's obviously gone away from the stock motor. Yeah, it's got the proper muscle car drivetrain in it. It has a V8 with not just a turbo, but a turbo and the blower. Does it make the top five, Riley? I'd say. I want to hear it. I actually want to see it try and hook up with the road because I have yeah. a feeling like a 2,000 pound car with a thousand horsepower <laughs> is, is quite an interesting combination. It may be traction limited. <laughs> a little bit. So this is apparently your favorite booth at the show, right? It is my favorite booth at the show. There's lots of cool cars here, all sorts of different stuff, but my area of expertise Tube-shaped meat. Tube-shaped meat, yes. Nothing I love more than a good tube of meat. You're a bit of a uh, sausage con connoisseur, yeah. huh? Hot, mild, pepperettes, sausages, pepperonis, any preserved meats. <laughs> All right, Riley, it's time for your pick of the show. What do Red, you got, buddy? What Red do you got? Riley's pick of the show. That's right. Um, this is it. This is my top pick of the entire Motorama. All these beautiful machines here. That's In right. No way was I coerced or paid That's right. to say this. Because you may notice there's an NV logo on his shirt, as well as a, it's not a coincidence. NV logo on the side of the car. Still, I gotta admit, it's pretty damn badass. I I mean, this has been the shop's car for years. I like, I knew about the car long before I knew about NV Auto, or worked for them or anything. First time I went to a, an event at the track, I saw this car and I loved it ever since. So now being able to work with the car, the people who own it, Everything else, being a part of it, is yeah. really, really cool. So, and the drift car's got a 2J under the hood. What about this bad boy? So this, no, uh, no trickery in that respect. Still an EJ from an STI, but it's got everything you could think of. So, what kind of jam does this bad boy make? Uh, we're hoping 650 to the wheels. Okay. On on race gas, it's still a EJ 207. 2.2 stroker, built heads, rotated intake, rotated turbo. It's got a Borg Warner um, EFR on it, their newest EFR series. All are the you, goodies. Are you going to attack time in that, or is that all Dove's deal? Uh, it's, that's all Dove's deal. If they let me drive it, I will. This is what the tame racing driver looks <laughs> like right here. 
Go fast, buddy. Yeah, yeah, we'll kill it this year. <laughs> well, I gotta say, I love the uh, the new splitter. It looks pretty badass. It's got the cognition wing on the back. Chassis mounted. They do things right at NV. And as you can see, they're running Achilles slicks. Oh, actually, you got the one, two, three S's on here, but you've you got, got the slicks on the other side. Oh, the slicks are on the other side. Ah, oh, you're showing it all off. Gotcha. Oh wait. And of course, it's all business inside here. Yeah? All right, boys. Thanks for the tour. We appreciate your uh, beard's eye view of the show. <laughs> go easy on the uh, the ladies for us, and uh, well, I can't promise anything. I think it's time for Ken and I to go creep some more cars. What do you say? Cars, right? Cars. Let's do it. Fast and the Furious going here, people. In Nocturnals. What is this? Pacific? I think it's Pacific. Yeah, I don't know what it is. Oh, it's a Ford Focus, I think. It is, it's a 2000 Ford Focus. <laughs> As a former EG owner, it's nice to see a very cleanly done EG here. Rocking the K-Swap as is required by current horsepower requirements. So it's not like a crazy tucked, overdone show car setup. This is actually a really very realistic looking build. I like the uh, stance of it, you know, it's functional. Crazy camber, no crazy offset. It's a nice clean EG. Man, look, it's a Grand Torino. Where's Clint Eastwood? Oh, we got an Asian kid here by the El Torino. It's just like the movie. <laughs> Get off my lawn, kid! <laughs> Challenge accepted, Motorama. Challenge accepted. All right, Ken Wagon, this is your pick of the show, is it? Yeah, it is. I'm in a rat rod kind of mood. It's a 1951 Mercury truck. On, looks like Detroit uh, Steel Company. Yes. Certainly low enough. It is. It is. You think you can uh, tow the FD to the track with this, or what? Probably. <laughs> I think that's that would be an awesome shop truck. I think for sure. It's the Tankenstein, everybody. How'd you like this for mowing the lawn? Look at, the Look at the shifter in this thing. This has to be one of the most detailed Back to the Future DeLoreans I've ever seen. Look at all the effort they put into all the flux capacitor <laughs> time machine stuff back here, man. Robo Rick? Go Scooby Snacks! Huh? Alright Pete, I know you're not here with us, but I think this is your pick of the show. Strangely, you have a soft spot for El Caminos, and this one is pretty damn badass. Covered in Audi R8 gray paint. It's just immaculate. And that engine bay, although it's murdered out, you can't see it so well. It is typical hot rod perfection in there. If I didn't have the Tundra, I would love to ha have a cool old ramp truck like this, man. Imagine rolling into TMP with the FRS on the back of this thing. That would blow some minds. All right, that wraps up our little tour of the Motorama Speed and Custom Show, something like that? Yeah, something like that. It was a lot of muscle cars, a lot of hot rods, some really cool trucks, some like yes, old trucks, trucks and stuff. Yeah. 
There's a little tuner area at the back, but that was all show car stuff, which isn't really our thing, but still cool to see. Yeah, it is. Some vendors here that uh, you saw you saw with us as well. So all in all, a pretty cool little show. Yep. It's uh, worth the time to come down here at the International Center in Toronto. Yeah, it sure is. And uh, <laughs> we're, getting heckled, <laughs> we're getting heckled by the vendors here. So yeah, until uh, next year, Motorama, mm -hmm. we out. We out. All right, Riley, to thank you for the tour. I've got you a uh, special present. There you go, buddy. Come on now. That's it. When you take us on a tour of any show, we reward you with a giant man sausage. This will go great. Right here? In your pocket? Yeah. yeah. For the club later tonight. Yeah, You're exactly. See, just in time uh, for your date. Yeah, just in time for my hot date. Put on your skinny jeans and wear your sausage. Oh, yeah, I'm going to wear the tightest oh, pants. I'll grease them up. Like Salami. Seal the deal every time. <laughs> Plus, uh, you don't need to wear cologne when you smell like sausage, right? No, uh, when you have the... Uh, Peppercorn salami chub. <laughs> Literally called the chub. <laughs> it's really called a chub? Yeah, no. Peppercorn chub. Oh my god. So this is a full chub. Yeah. Oh my god, that's so funny.